Disclaimer. The following content may contain crude language, violences, some dirty humor, and sexual jokes are not suitable for children and is intended for 18 plus or older audience. Viewer discretion is advised, which means if you get offended easily, do not watch this video. Thank you. Jada Moore, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This video is going to be short and sweet because I don't want to talk about this subject for like too long. Um, in my last video, I ranted about the truth towards making an OnlyFans. I watched that video multiple times through it, like I'm still going to upload it. I didn't really explain in that video why I felt the need to fall back on OnlyFans and recreate an account. That whole video was a rant because I felt like I got judged by some judgmental Christians. Basically just be easy on me while I'm transitioning. A year ago was completely different. My mindset a year ago was completely different. I felt like that stuff was okay and you know now that I'm transitioning there's some time where I'm like fighting myself where I see certain comments but I can't just change overnight. I think that video because it was a rant and I didn't really sit and plan out that video it was just all over the place. This video is just step by step what the negative things about OnlyFans and honestly why you should never make an OnlyFans like I hope I didn't offend anybody that video um, that video was just ranting about me feeling judged and I wanted to be open and vulnerable with you guys about my situation and what led me to thinking like that was the only option and signing up and making a new OnlyFans account. I, for me, if I'm not getting judged, I'm not growing. That's how I feel. Like, if my man didn't judge me or certain people didn't judge my actions and give me advice on ways I can change and better myself, I wouldn't be who I am today. So, there's nothing wrong with people you know stating their opinions and giving advice but it should be like advice of like how to grow so there's sometimes where it's just hurtful comments made like oh you you can't call yourself a christian if you're doing this and that and that's why i felt the need to like hop on and kind of rant about my situation and why you know i went backwards reasonings why you should never make an only fans honestly reason why it's a Damn. If you're watching this video and you're just like coming to this video just because you're curious and you don't know who I am or what I do. I remember years ago, one of my best friends, her name is Carol, and she is very successful on the internet. And she has so many girl followers and she gets all kinds of brand deals and all kinds of contracts and she worked really really hard on marketing herself we met with each other we were like at the beginning stages of branding our business and i remember her telling me so many times she said girl you better brand yourself the right way it might take a little longer and it might take a little more work but it'll be much more worth it at the end of the day i didn't listen to her i saw the likes and i saw the followers like pouring in with all these guy followers but I didn't really think anything of it and I just saw the likes like that's really all I cared about was like I'm getting likes I'm getting followers super super quick I doing this and this is what works I even took the easy way out when it came to making money for a while I definitely was a hundred percent against making an OnlyFans I was like no like I'm already doing too much on Instagram like things I'm posting my booty all out like I don't I shouldn't make an OnlyFans but a lot of people kept talking to me about it like oh you can make this much money a month and I just kept hearing about it all the time like to make an OnlyFans so finally I did it like within the first couple months like right when I made it I was making 10 bands a month like like I was making such easy quick money and I honestly started off by just basically posting the same things I was posting on Instagram and, and this is why it is a scam after a couple of months you're going to lose subscribers because they're like only signing up because of the hype only fans has a reputation that's the thing when you hear of an only fans you're, you're automatically, or even a private Snapchat, you're automatically thinking like there's porn, there's nudes, there's sex tapes all on this thing. They're really subscribing just to see the hype, right? They're trying to see if they can see your nudes, they're trying to see if they can see your sex tapes, all of that. But then when they see what you're actually posting on there, and if it doesn't reach like what they imagined and then what they want to see you doing, then they're going to unsubscribe. Unless you are okay with 
being that girl and doing those things and making that a full-time job where you're basically going to be transitioning into a like a porn star number two people are going to steal your photos all day every day even if you don't have a following whoever subscribes to your account can take your pictures and screenshot and screen record whatever you do it's not secured it's not private like anybody can take your stuff the the really hard thing to accept for me is that like my anything I had posted on there is all over the internet like you can type in my name and there's like the reddit account that pops up and it doesn't have everything but it has a lot of stuff that I had posted on there and it sucks because if I go and message them and say can you take this all down out of the kindness of your heart because I've transitioned and I'm giving my life over to God and I don't want the stuff on the internet I bet they don't give a crap about how I feel so your stuff is on the internet for life and you have to be okay with that if you have a little girl one day and you want your little girl never to do stuff like that but they type in mommy's name and all that stuff pops up what are you gonna do another thing about it is that people took my videos and my pictures that i had posted on there and they went and made a separate like account pretending to be me to make money off my selling my photos and my videos that i posted on there and so even if i shut it all down there's accounts that are frauding and pretending to be me to make money off of those photos and videos that I had made. Three, that is a hard reputation to break. Like, I don't know how many comments I get of like, you have OnlyFans, like, shut up. You got OnlyFans. Like, you're going to lose respect. I didn't have much respect to begin with because I was, you know, I picked the easy way out of posting my booty and all of that stuff all the time on Instagram. I didn't have a lot of respect because of just like reputation on YouTube and drama. Like, honestly, I didn't make a lot of smart choices for myself when it came to branding and marketing myself. Definitely learning to be very, very careful on myself of like who I choose to work with. Make sure that you have very high standards standards for yourself if you're trying to be an influencer you are a brand so be very picky on who you work with and what you do as I'm starting to rebrand myself it's going to be very hard to break from that reputation a lot of people are going to look at me and remember that I did only fans and that I posted my booty all the time on the internet like that's something I have to be strong in as I'm transitioning into you know a different brand if you decide to do only fans if you are a brand whether you have any followers or not you are still a brand like you're your name like you have to be very picky and have high standards of what you want people to know you as so if you do do that and you try to break free from that there are people that are going to remember and keep that over your head that you ever chose to make that decision in your life What's going on everybody? Your boy Man Up coming at you with one more video today. Now because the video is kind of long, I'm going to change up how I normally do do my particular videos for this one. But, oh, and also too, I did not go forward with the whole entire video because it's kind of long. And I decided to, you know, just chop it up a little bit. Now, let me go ahead and get started with this one. I give all the praises in the world to this girl. She is smart in everything that she was saying. I don't know it's because she probably changed, changed how she was living her life or whatever. Got counseling. I don't know. But the way she talks, I wouldn't just be surprised that she only did OnlyFans. She is educating all of you on why not to do OnlyFans. I'm, she broke it down to the T. And she was right. She even said everything every, all those guys say. It's quick money. You see the lights and the glam behind it. You, you Everybody is saying how they was able to do this and do that. How, you know. No, just it's just a quick, easy buck. It's it's quick and easy. She took the easy road out. Something I said in one of my previous videos about the uh, mom that 
that kicked her daughter out for not wanting to do only because she started doing OnlyFans. And she said it. People will use you to they can't use you no more. Which is facts. So the only thing that I'm saying here is this here. The only thing that I'm saying is at the end of the day, we have to make better decisions for ourselves. And she ended up making it. She is ready to accept the fact that she did her OnlyFans and people know who she is. And and she's just going to have to live with those decisions. She's ready for it. Which is what all of us guys have been saying for the longest. You're going to have to live with your decisions. No matter what we say, how we say it. That's just what it is. You can say, oh, we're being rude. We're being rude. Who cares about if you're being rude? It's facts. Actual factuals. <laughs> That's what this is. It's just the facts. People don't like to hear the facts. People like to only uh, uh, have you become to them nice and polite, be all sweet and stuff. No, sorry. The truth, does, the truth doesn't make you feel good. It makes you have a better life. But it doesn't make you feel good. You see what I'm saying? The truth hurts. But it's good for you. Kind of like going to the doctor and you know you need to get a shot. It hurts, but it's good for you. <laughs> kind of like taking some medicines out there. It's nasty, but it's going to make you feel good. Make, well, make you feel better. But well, my whole point is this. I 100% stand behind this girl. At least she was brave and she's honest. This is another thing that I always said. More females need to come out and and, 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 and be honest about being in the adult industry, how it ruined their life. More women need to come out and say, <clears throat> excuse me, and need to say uh, how it's not worth what it is that you're going to have to go through in life. It's not worth it. There's a lot of OnlyFans girls, a lot of former adult movie stars that come out and say, don't do it. I did a video a while back about Lana Rose. She regrets doing it. She can't go be a teacher. She can't get jobs anywhere. She's going to have to live off the money that she made from her uh, previous career like a better terms and this girl here right here is telling you facts look at the end of the day nobody really cares about you but you and if you decide to walk down that road you're going to live with the consequences she even said other things that i never even thought of she said if people would take your content and, and, and use it for their own personal gain i never even thought about that before she said it's not secure People can screenshot, screen record, all of that. And hey, OnlyFans don't care. They they basically pimping y'all girls. That's what they're doing. They're pimps. They're online pimps. Let's just be honest and be real. That's what it is. They're online pimps. So what they're doing is saying, hmm, I'm going to use this girl right here for my own personal benefit, my own personal gain. That's basically what they're doing. Hands down. She broke it down to the T. She's a born again Christian. So she's slowly transitioning out of that world. And she's right. It's not going to be an overnight thing. It's going to take time. Because now she's understanding that she can't go get a job nowhere. She can't... Uh, 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 you know what I'm saying? Live the lifestyle that she wants. Because it ruined her life. So she understands that people are going to have their comments. People are going to say crazy, rude things. She just has to suck it up and, you know, just be prepared for it. So I give this girl all the credit in the world. I mean, all the credit. At least she realized she made a mistake. And she's just saying, you know what? Let me correct this right now. 
some girls they realize they made a mistake, but but now see that they have no way out. See, at the end of the day, man, all I'm saying is this, ladies, quit trying to follow these female rappers. The quit, well, put it like this, quit trying to follow the the easy buck, the lifestyle, the trying to be famous. Quit, quit trying to uh, let everybody know who you are, because nobody cares who you are. She told y'all the truth. She said it. All people are going to do is just use you and use you up. People are going to steal from you. Now she's now that she's no longer doing uh, OnlyFans anymore, she said it. People still can take your pictures and your photos. They can create their own account, but use you. And you're not even getting any money for that. And another thing she talked about was your self-worth. Respect yourself because people don't don't respect you. And this is one more thing before I get out of here. Uh, I lost my train of thought. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is one more thing before I get out of here. At the end of the day, nobody cares who you are. Only you care. Only person that's going to really care about you is you. And then you have to set the example for your future. And like she said, if you decide to have kids, how are you going to discipline your kids from not doing certain things in life when these days all you got to do is just type in somebody's name and bam, there you go. You can even have a stage name, but somehow, some way, one day, your stage name is going to get attached to your real name and bam, there it go. You see what I'm saying? You got to have the self-respect for yourself. You got to know when. Oh, excuse me, girl. My camera messing up. Okay. You got to know when to not do certain things. You got to understand, look. Yeah, it, these people, yeah, they making $10,000 a month. You know what I'm saying? Doing this and doing that. While you at your job only making two or $3,000 a month. I'm finna quit this. I'm finna go make me some money. But when you do it, just come with the mindset of knowing most of the time there's no coming back. Most of the time. It's very rare that you're going to get into something like this and then come out of it unscathed. Just know that somebody is watching you. Luckily, she got out of it, and she's able to tell her story. So with that being said, all I'm trying to say is this here, and I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I know I'm rambling a little bit, but I'm going to go ahead and end this. I give this lady all the credit in the world for coming out and breaking it all down on how it's, this is going to affect you. A lot of women don't like to tell the truth because they don't want to be labeled as being wrong. They don't want to be labeled as being a hoe or, or being labeled as something negative. They'll, they'll tell you, they'll sell you a dream. They'll sell you a dream. And then once you realize that dream was a nightmare, you're going to have to live with those consequences. This is one more thing. I know I said this a couple times, but this is one more thing that I'm done. At the end of this, I want to say this here. Ladies, please do not mistake these likes that y'all get on any social media platform as if a man wants to be with you. Take it from a guy himself. I, I cannot stress this enough. Just because a guy says he like you does not mean he wants you. We are men. We think different. We act different. We, our bodies are different from women. Our mindset is different from women. A man will say he like you just to get what's between your legs and then he's gone. Women, y'all are different. That's the reason why when y'all done with certain things like this, y'all yeah, 
y'all yeah, don't really have too much of a support system because people don't don't want to be around you, don't want to be associated with that. Well, some people do have a support system, but it's not what it should be, if, if that makes sense. It's like only a half of a support system because <laughs> not everybody wants to, you know what I'm saying, be in that mix of what it is that you do. You see what I'm saying? So what I'm trying to say is, and I know I'm rambling, I know I'm rambling, but what I'm trying to say is this here, and let, and let me go ahead and end this. Ladies, do not take the fact that some guys is all up in your DMs as if he wants you. No. He don't want you. He just want what's between your legs, and that's it. If a guy wants you, he don't have to slide up in your DMs. He'll come to you face to face. For the most part, that is. Now, only reason why you're getting these likes is because, yeah, you might look good in a bathing suit. Yeah, you might look good in your tight, skimpy clothes. But that's all. But that's the mindset, like she said in here. That's the mindset that you're giving these guys. So that's all these guys are going to come at you for. That's just plain and simple. If you come at, your, at these guys with self-respect, Nine times ten, he's gonna treat you with self-respect. If you come at these guys with uh, uh, the mindset of a of a three hundred four, then he's gonna treat you like a three hundred four. That's just what it is. That's what it was with me and my wife. My wife, uh, had I could tell right now, oozing with confidence in herself. I had to come correct with her. Again, one of the reasons why I've been blessed to have a woman like her. One of the reasons why I've been married for almost 14 years. Anyway, I'm not going to ramble anymore. This is your boy, Man Up. I'm Chunkin' the Deuce. I'll let y'all.